Hey friends, have you ever wished that you could turn your backyard into a golf course? Well, today we're gonna to take the Mevo Plus, we're gonna hook it up with the E6 software, and we're gonna turn this into this. All right, so the process here is we're gonna launch the App Store and we're gonna search for the E6 Connect app. Once you start typing E6, you should see E6 Connect come up. Go ahead and hit get the app and it will start downloading after you give it your fingerprint or face or whatever your phone requires. Now, as you can see here, a lot of people are not happy with the E6 Connect app. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that there really aren't any very good tutorials on how to connect it to your system. So I'm hoping that today's video will help you as you get your Mevo connected to E6. All right, guys, so I have made it to the backyard here. It's a little bright, as you can see back here, uh, but I've got the flight scope Mevo. I've got my hitting net right here set up. I've got my little mat, which I've measured out to be eight feet away. So all I'm gonna do is basically fire this thing up and then we're gonna connect it to the E6 app and see what happens. Here we go. All right, put it down here. And press and hold the button there as it fires up. Okay, so my slightly um, ghetto setup here in the kid's wagon, I'm hooking my phone up so that we can actually record it on the screen here as well. <laughs> hey, you gotta work with what you got. Um, I'm a newbie to all of this, as you can see, so we're all learning together, which is fun. So as the E6 Connect launches, you can either log in or sign up. I chose to sign up. You'll see a bunch of terms and conditions you need to accept. And then you'll create a username and password based on your email address. After you type in your email and password, it's going to ask you for a username. This can be anything you want. I made it let's play through because that makes sense because that's who I am. Next, it's going to ask you if you have a product key, and if you do, you can redeem that. Some manufacturers give you the software license with the hardware. However, I did not, so I hit the skip button here. The next screen is going to ask what piece of hardware you have. I chose FlightScope because I have the FlightScope Mevo in my possession. It's actually Wade's, but I'm borrowing it. Then it says that I'll have a license of a demo which comes with one course, 17 practice areas, and one mode of play. So it's a limited version that you can test out, but that's all we need to do here for the video. As you can see, it says flight scope is not connected, which means we need to do something else. So what we need to do is connect to the Mevo first. So I'm turning it on and I'm gonna launch the Mevo Plus app and then we will launch the E6 app. So for me, E6 Connect did not work without the FS Golf app running and connected. So I opened the Flight Scope Golf app, FS Golf. And when you open FS Golf, it's going to ask you to connect your mobile device to the radar via a QR code. There is a QR code located right here on the device. We're gonna go ahead and scan that. I found this to work very fast. It hits the QR code, it asks you to join a network, you hit join, and within a few seconds you are up and running. It says that you are connected. And we're connected. So that's the first step. Step two is we're actually going to launch the E6 app. All right, so this is a good sign because now I actually see that the flight scope device has connected. That's huge, huge, huge step. All right, so let's go ahead and let's play some golf here. The flight scope has connected. That is a great sign. We are logged in as let's play through there. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Mode of play, stroke play. Uh, I don't see any other options, so stroke play it is. And we can select a course. This is cool. We've got one course here that we can play here. And mulligans, unlimited, pin position, medium. Let's see, I guess we can select holes that we want to play, game options, let me go to settings here to see. Here's how you can actually change mulligans, um, gimme's inside of 10 feet, sure that works, auto caddy on. I'm not right now going to go through all these settings, maybe we'll do another video where we actually go through all of these different settings, but for now we're just going to accept it, and now we're going to tee off, and here we go. Lucas, check this out, phase three, we've got a simulator loading. Yes. Look how cool that is. This is a really exciting moment because I'm about to play my first round of golf in the backyard. 
The fact that this technology is available right now and we can do this completely blows my mind. We're living in extraordinary times. If I was a kid and I had this when I was a kid, I would be doing it all day long. I'd probably be on the PGA Tour by now. Let's show you how this simulator works. Oh, that was piped. Absolutely piped. <laughs> Yardage doesn't say so, but I'm telling you it was. All the data displays right there. That's really cool. Now we'll move on to the next shot here. Get that pretty good. Get tight, baby. Ooh, came up short. I'm not so sure about the distances right now. Granted, I'm out in my backyard. I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of setup. This is pretty cool though. All right, shot three coming. I've got 67 feet. I'm going to take out the 54 degree. I'm in the rough. That's rough there. Ooh, hit it a little bit short. A little bit short there. Okay, so quick edit here. I think I know why those shots weren't so accurate. I had the device eight feet away and I had set it to seven feet inside the E6 Connect. I'm pretty sure that's what accounted for the 10 yards difference. We'll retest and try on another video, but suffice it to say, I'm pretty sure the Mevo is accurate. All right, 31 feet, so it's about the same. I'm still in the rough. Ooh, too far. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but this is awesome. And again, the visual data that you get from the E6 Connect makes this so useful All to right. your practice. Now, in terms of accuracy, it's been pretty good, but it's been a little bit hit or miss. But again, listen, I'm in my backyard, okay? As you can see, my cell phone is hooked up to my computer inside my child's wagon right here. I've got a flooring tile that's holding up the Mevo on the ground, so I'm sure that I don't have the ideal setup right now, <laughs> but that's gonna get fixed. Wade has told me that this thing has been very accurate for him and his testing, so I gotta trust him there as well. But it's a lot of fun, and I hope this gave you a better idea of how you can use the FlightScope Mevo Plus as you get set up in your house, your garage, your backyard, like I've got it right now and have a little bit of fun. That's the E6, how you connect it to the flight scope. If you've gotten yourself one of these Mevo Pluses, I hope you enjoy the device, and I hope you have a lot of fun hitting balls out in your backyard like I do.